Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also really helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So what we're going to be covering today's video is statics, equilibrium of rigid bodies, and we are going to be finding reactions. So we have this picture shown on the left and a little bit of description here and it says that two external shafts of a gearbox carry torques as shown of 600 pounds per foot of clockwise rotation and 100 pound feet of counterclockwise rotation, and we have to determine the vertical components of the forces that must be exerted by the bolts at A and B to maintain the gearbox in equilibrium to keep this thing from rotating. So this is a reactions problem, and we are trying to find the reactions at A and B, and we are only concerning ourselves with the vertical reactions here, because that's all it's asking for. <clears throat> And with rotations, it's just going to be rotating up to down, not side to side at this point. So when solving these types of reaction problems, and basically we're going to be using equilibrium to solve them, we have our three equilibrium equations of summation of x equal to zero, summation of y equal to zero, and summation of moments about a point equal to zero. For this particular problem, there is going to be nothing in the x for us to solve for. Well, that means we don't have to use it then. Yay, one equation down. So we have two that we are going to use, which is our y and our moment equation. So real quick, um, looking at what's going on here. Well, both of our reactions are in the y direction. These two are moments. So if we were to start with the y equation, well, let's just go ahead and write it. Up is positive. Everything in the y direction has to be summed to zero. We would have a y, which is our assumed arrow direction, is up, plus b y, which is our assumed arrow direction as up, is equal to zero. Not very helpful, right? Well, the only thing that that equation is showing is that a y and b y cannot be going up for both of them because they are going to have to sum to be zero. So one of these two has to be going downward for this to make any sense. So one of my assumed arrow directions is incorrect, which is okay. If you um, assume an incorrect arrow direction, it'll just pop out as a negative number in your equations once you get an answer for it. No big deal. So don't worry about if you have them wrong. We'll just keep them as up and we'll see which one's actually going down. So there's my y equation. I can't really do much with it right now. Whenever this happens, you just go on to the next one. Well, that is our moment. And what we're going to do is we are going to sum moments about one of my reaction points. So I'm going to take counterclockwise as positive rotation, and I'm just going to sum about point A. That way, I only have BY appearing in my moment equation because AY goes directly through A. It has a zero perpendicular distance, so thus no moment about that point. So pretty simplistic moment equation here. You just got to watch out for one thing. So we have our 600 pound feet of rotation, which is clockwise. So that's negative 600 pound feet of rotation. And then I have 100 pound feet of rotation going left or going left, going counterclockwise. Yeah, the arrow is moving to the left, but it is counterclockwise. So that's plus 100 pound feet of moment. And then I have B sub Y, which I assumed upward. So it is also rotating counterclockwise. And then I need a distance for that. Well, this is where the trick you have to look out because sometimes with these simplistic problems, what they do is they try to trick you on the units. Well, look what my moment unit for distance is. Feet, feet. Well, what's that distance in? It's in inches. Ah, so you can't mix units. Like these are in pounds, so we have to keep our answers or our other variables in pounds. These both are in feet, so let's just go ahead and transfer this into feet. So 30 inches gives me 2.5 feet. You always have to watch out for that because sometimes these problems try to throw that little trickery in there. Always watch out for that. So it'd be by times 2.5 feet is equal to zero. Well, when you rearrange, by is just going to be 600 minus the 100 divided by the 2.5, and then that gives me a total for BY to be a positive 200 pounds. Since it's positive, 
as my answer, that means my assumed arrow direction at the start of up was the correct one. So B sub Y is the one that is going upwards. So now with B sub Y, I can come back into my other equation of F Y and plug that in. So I have A Y plus my 200, which was going upwards. So it is correctly written is equal to zero. So A Y pops out to be a minus 200 pounds. As you can imagine, it is not going upwards. Whenever you get the minus sign for your reaction, that just means your assumed arrow direction at the start is incorrect. So just drop that minus sign and flip the arrow. So instead of it being minus 200 up, it is 200 pounds in the downward direction. <clears throat> and there are my two answers. Now, with all reaction problems, you can always check your answers. With this particular one, it's kind of like, oh, well, it doesn't really matter um, because the reactions are exactly the same. There's not a whole lot of forces going on here. But if you wanted to check your answers to make sure that you didn't fudge up anywhere, you always, well, pretty much some moments at the other reaction that you did not use, or if you only have one reaction point as with fixed conditions, just some points at a different point that you did to find one of your reactions. Everything should still cancel to be zero. And this particular problem, if we sum moments at B, yes, it will still cancel to B0. So that's always a good way to check, especially when you're on tests or exams, just to double check. So, I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more Problem Solvers Friday, please check out other videos on our channels we're trying to upload daily. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel because all of that does help us. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.